Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jeremy Sylvester from Urban Dubs Music and LukeWax.com. Just another tutorial, but this time we're going to be focusing on the 90s style house and garage production. Um, I've had many requests, so I'm happy to give you some insight into some of the production methods that I used back in the day, uh, to a certain extent. Um, I'm obviously not going to use the same equipment as I did back then, but in this case I'll be using uh, Ableton 9 to try and show you how you could adapt some of those same methods. Uh, the other reason for this tutorial really also is to showcase uh, I've got a brand new 90s garage tools sample pack uh, available uh, on the 1st of April from loopwax.com and uh, and uh, you know this this pack's quite dear to me actually um, actually contains some of my old my own personal uh, collection of sounds used again and again from my early productions um, I've actually scoured through a lot of my old Akai S3000 discs just to try and find some sounds I was using back then uh, just cleaned them all up converted them and uh, made them all available in this pack so I hope you like it I hope it's useful to you so let's get rolling I'll show you how to make a track from start to finish I try and do it within 45 minutes but it may go over into two videos we'll see we'll see how it goes okay uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is just showcase some of the sounds in the pack just to give you an idea of what's in it you know uh, here we go, 90s garage tools. It's got various folders in there. It's got 90s bass notes, drum loop kits, film vocals, garage bits and bobs, I've called it. Couldn't think of any other name. Uh, garage chord stabs, garage claps, FX, hats and cymbals, kicks, percussions, snares, some vocals, some retro one shot chords, some speed garagey type percussion y bits and bobs. Um, yeah, I'll just kind of flick through. I'll go through the. Uh, the garage chord stabs, just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Oh, you'll recognize that. That's the Club Asylum uh, <laughs> trademark stab sound. Got that in there. A few other ones in there as well. A few little nice bits and bobs there you can use. Uh, these are some of my old my old stab sounds, uh, but I've actually made a new folder with some more kind of new ones as well, kind of based off that old sound, I guess. Uh, let's have a flick through. Lovely, lovely lushness there. It's great for deep house, great for garage, great for two step, great for whatever, man. New school, whatever you want to call it. Broken beat, hip hop, whatever. There's loads on there. Uh, okay, let's just have a look through some of the bits and bobs. So yeah, just uh, that's a quick scan of what's in there. Um, but you know, as, as I go along in this tutorial, I'll, I'll be showcasing more of these sounds just to give you an idea of how you can use it. Okay, so I'm gonna get cracking on. Um, first things first, I'm gonna create a drum rack, get the drums rolling. So go to instruments, drag and drop the drum rack into Ableton. Okay, now you'll see the pads uh, come across down here. Now what I tend to do in what I tend to do is, on the drum rack, is I drop a glue compressor on there, okay? I'll just do some preliminary settings for now. And then I'll put an EQ, an eight EQ on there as well. Um, and yeah, I'll just kind of move it and adjust it as I go along, so. I'm going to add some sands into the drum rack. Uh, I'm gonna just go into, back into the sample pack. Uh, I'm gonna grab some, look for some kicks. A 
okay? So I've got this retro kick zero two, I'm gonna whack that in there like that. Alright. Alright, okay, so I'm gonna find a clap. That in like that, I might drop. I might drop a couple of claps in there. Eh? Let's put that one in there as well. Uh, okay, let's go into garage hats and cymbals. Let's see what we got. Actually, let me go into garage percussion first. Some nice little Todd Edwardsy kind of inspired percussion. Disciples um, keep on moving. It's quite nice. I'm gonna use that. All right. So uh, what else we got? Let's go back up here. It's a nice little open high out there. see what's in the hi-hats folder. Close hi-hats. Okay, open hi-hats again. So yeah, I think we've got enough now. Um, So, I've got a basic kit there. I'm gonna just create a MIDI clip. Um, I'm gonna make the length two bars, just keep it really simple. Okay, so I'm gonna just play around and see what see what comes out. Tempo, I've left at 127. You know, I would say anything between 125 and 128 is a good tempo. Um, so I'm just gonna just paste in these kicks first. I'm just going to keep it straight for, for now. Might change later on. We'll see how it goes. So this is totally off the cuff. I haven't, pl I haven't planned this track at all. So I'm just basically just going to vibe it all the way through and just see what comes out. You know, sometimes magic comes out of it or not. So I set my quantizer uh, at the moment is on 16 116th T. Just gives it a nice swing, especially when you put the hi-hats in there. I 
Just gonna adjust the levels a little bit on some of these sounds, maybe pan them a little bit. So let's, I'll keep it simple for now. I'm not going to make it too, too bumpy. Um, yeah, because I'm not sure what I'm going to do once I've got the sounds in there. Just going to keep it simple for now. And then I may add to the drums later on. Okay, so got that. Save that. Um, go into, I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to get a sampler, a simpler instrument. Um, what I'm going to do? I'm gonna play around with some vocals. I'm gonna find some vocals. Uh, I'm gonna go into the vocal pack, vocal folder. I'm gonna have a look and see what's in there. Um, <laughs> That sounds pretty cool. Let's whack that in. Vocals. I normally leave this on where it says complex here. Uh, I'm going to chop these vocals up. I'm going to splice them up on MIDI. So I'm just going to highlight the warp positions on these. Like this. And then I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to slice to new MIDI track. Make sure this is on warp marker built in. Okay. Right, so I've got these chopped up here on this channel here. All sliced up. But I'm going to go into them a little bit more and see if I can get a better edit on them. So, actually, yeah, I'm going to start on slice two. Okay, so I'm gonna just put some reverb on there. Uh, just put some basic reverb for now. So I'm gonna roll the beat. Let me just get rid of that, and I'll get rid of that. Don't need that channel anymore. So we've got the chops on here now. I'm going to create a MIDI track, a MIDI, a MIDI clip. I'm going to have it over two bars. So I'm just going to play around and see what kind of hooks I can make from that. Instead of two. Uh, 
Let's extend that a bit there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Uh, let me do that again. Let's play around with that. So I'm going to just quantize that. Actually, I'll make it two bars. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a basic uh, hook there. Uh, right, next thing is I'm gonna play around with some chords. So I'll try and find some chords to kind of match the pitch of those vocals there, okay? i notice that I've done that. I've noticed that I've put the vocals down first and then I've made the hook from the vocals and then now I'm gonna add uh, the melody on top. Um, so I'm gonna go back into the folder and I'm gonna go into my, I'm gonna go into these retro one-shot chords first. So but actually first what I'm going to do is create an instrument. Create an instrument, I'm going to create a simpler instrument. I'm going to drag it into Ableton like that. And then what I'm going to do is go into the folder again, into the sample pack folder, and I'm going to grab some, some of these sounds here. One of these sounds. Let me try that one and see what it sounds like. Take the release off. Help. clip uh, over two bars uh. 
on the vocals here so I'm gonna go into instruments and I'm gonna go into uh, sorry audio effects drop a glue compressor on there preliminary settings put an EQ on there Let's have a look. Oh, whoops put it on the wrong channel hang on all right vocal track uh, glue compressor and EQ. I'm also going to put a simple delay on there as well. Okay, that's a nice little groove. So the next thing now is the bass. So again, I'm gonna go into instruments. I'm gonna go into uh, simpler. I'm going to go into the sample pack folder. And then there's a nice little bass I wanna use from here, which is called the Disco Classic Bass. Um, I'm gonna whack that into simpler on this channel. Take the release off. Kind of old school classic bass now. to make it over two bars I think no I'll make it over four bars um, let's see how that sounds Okay, I've got some delay going on. 
some latency going on, so I'm going to try and work around it. playing around the bass a little bit just to kind of bring it out some bit more uh, we got the glue compressor it's gonna bring out some of that release just to kind of Down, open high hats down a little bit, a little bit in volume. filter on there so we can within the arrangement we can just kind of filter up and down just to give it some variation uh, some texture So the next thing I'm going to do is just uh, make some different variations on the drums. Uh, I'm going to make about three or four so we can drop in and out throughout the arrangement. So. so 
So obviously we've got the full pattern there. I'm going to make some duplications on that. And what I like to do is just kind of make them more different colors. And yeah, so we've got the full one for the first one. The second one, we could probably make that into a drum cut or a filler. take out the claps. And the next one, I'm gonna take out the kicks. Maybe just take out, or just leave the claps in. Probably make that drum feel much better. Um. Thank you. 
Yeah, see, I, I can run for now. Um, so yeah, so we've got the basic ingredients in there now. Um, the only other thing I'll probably add now is just probably, I'm gonna make another vocal hook from something else. Uh, that's kind of related to what she's saying now, I guess. We can have, we can have a go and see. Um, so I'm gonna make another audio track here. And I'm gonna go back into my folder. I'm gonna go into the pack vocals. I'm gonna have a look around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the track. Let's have a listen to that. Okay, uh, so yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. So I'm gonna just whack some reverb on that. Um, there we go. Okay, so we've got a really basic track there. Um, maybe we can add some other elements in there. Um, I'm gonna have a look around in the folder and see what we can use. Um, let's see.
Okay. Uh, I think I'll use that. So I'm going to go into instruments again. I'm going to bring up my simpler instruments. I'm going to drag and drop it. And then I'm going to go into the folder again. And I'm going to drop that sound in there. Take the release off. I'm going to shorten it. And also, I'm going to put some reverb on it. Uh. What I'm going to do, I'm going to play the track, but I'm going to filter down the chords that we've already got in there already. So. sound
Okay, so we've got a basic groove there. Uh, so now, the next step now is to go into the arrangement. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do a basic arrangement. Try and put all these parts together into some kind of uh, composition. So uh, here we go.
Okay, so I'm gonna start putting in some of these little drum cuts I made earlier. Um, okay, so bring that over there. some crash symbols so I'm just going to create a uh, another instrument track I'm going to create another sampler instrument I'm going to drop it in I'm going to go into the pack one more time and I'm going to go into the garage hits and symbols Let's have a look at these let's drop some of that
That's it really. Uh try to do everything as quick as I can. Forty five minutes is not long. So um yeah. Hope that just gave you a little bit of insight. <laughs> 